Hey, what's happening, folks? Um, this is Robert Johnston, and this is my recap video for days 23 through 25 of the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge. And I have already completed the challenge. Today is April 11th. Yesterday was the deadline, and uh, we all made it. Everything's cool, and we're... We're just waiting on some uh, more details about the uh, the Kickstarter and the print and all that good stuff. So this is just uh, me showing you my process um, of what I what I did to arrive at my finished um, comic. Um, I'm drawing a battle between the werewolf and the unicorn. Uh, basically, he says crap right there because he got kicked pretty hard um, something he probably wasn't expecting from a unicorn and then the unicorn gets a mean look on his face and he's like I'm not having this nope not tonight so what I like about rough sketching really quick is um, the, the ability to find the shape and then go over it again I, I really love that I really love drawing over blue line it just helps me refine my my thoughts and my approach to it um, plus I think it's a little therapeutic you know like if you lower the opacity of the blue line layer so much you can begin to see how you could do it better the next time the next pass over it so that's what I'm trying to do here is uh, refine it to a better uh, layout or better anatomy what have you you know I mean I, I know I'm not you know I still need to work on it of course right we're always going to be learning this these things but I just uh, I like the freedom of being able to move things around and just find what I need you know if I need to scale it down I'll do that if I need to uh, move the arm, see, uh, I'll do that, and I'll keep making more blue line until I until I arrive at the spot that I like. So anyway, it is Thursday night. Tomorrow is Friday. Um, I feel like last yesterday actually I did day 100 when I got up in the morning, and then I posted it, and then I went to work, and I was like, yeah. Um, I had planned on going to see Shazam that that uh, that night, but it didn't work out. Um, I'll get there. We'll get there eventually, hopefully soon before Avengers Endgame comes out because um, I'm going to see that. Anyway, so I did my 100s Wednesday morning, finished it up, felt pretty good, and then I went to work, had a good day of work. And then came home, chilled out, and then went to sleep. Got up today, thought to myself, what am I forgetting? <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I gotta do some artwork. But then I realized, wait a minute, I'm done with the challenge. I can take a break if I want. So I, I went to the comic shop, picked up some comics. Um, I got there 10 minutes before they had to close and then they, um, they gave me my stuff and they said hey thanks uh, John and I was like what and they was like no I, I'm sorry I meant Ron and I'm like no <laughs> I said Robert and he was like oh oh I'm so sorry I'm like that's yeah, okay it happens but I haven't really cracked them open yet and checked them out I might do that after I upload this video but so I'm not I, I'm always getting to the comic shop a little late and some of the comics I want the number ones of I end up only getting issue number two and above or you know number two and after that so I keep telling them hey guys you gonna order one of these and they're like oh yeah sure sure I'm like okay I'm put it on this list I want to get that copyright you know, next time you get it in I'm like okay okay and then they don't get it 
and they're always putting in other comics in my pull list that I didn't even put on there, you know, like weird off the wall stuff that, I mean, no, I like weird comics, but I'm, I'm not really like, uh, you know, like the kitty, kitty, kitty stuff or I told him, I said, no, no more DC for me. I'm that's not what I'm about anymore. I just want independence. I want my independence. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, my past self is still drawing, sketching this all up. Um, kind of liking what I end up with. And uh, yeah, I felt it was a pretty successful approach. And I know this is one of the early passes of this, so I'm pretty sure you'll see another video of me going over this again. You know, you guys all know the story. I'm going to take a silent break for a minute. Listen to the music. Enjoy the peace and quiet. Wait. It's not quiet because of the music. What kind of what kind of strange comic book stories? Um, comic book store stories do you guys have did you get any weird comics you never ordered before or did you have did someone call you by a different name I mean I know it's not strange that these things happen but uh, I'm running out of things to talk about so I thought eh, eh, eh. maybe yeah uh, maybe you guys got some sort of stories that you can put in the comments below I don't know just trying to interact folks and it looks like my video is coming to an end here um, because the timeline is advancing and I am seeing it coming close to the end. So this might do it then for this uh, video recap, days 23 through 25. As you know, I'm 75 um, days behind on the video, on the video making. Yep. Thanks, Flu. Appreciate it. I hope, I hope I don't have to see you again for a long while, Flu. Okay. Take care, guys. See you later. I still have a little bit more time. I'm going to cram in some more audio, some more meaningless audio. Um, yep. A couple more yeps. Um, maybe a uh-huh. And, uh, okay. All right. The 100 Days of Making Comics was created by Kevin Cross. The challenge is about you spending at least 30 minutes a day on your comic project. And for those 100 days, you have to document your progress on social media. To learn and see more, please follow these links and hashtags. I want to thank you for watching my video. Please visit me on social media and go to Linktree to see all my social media links. And if you like this video, please like and share it.